Hello and welcome back to On Point Wargaming. Um, this video is going to be a, a bit of an update to an earlier video uh, that I made about how I painted um, my Australian commandos for bolt action. Uh, since then I've cracked on quite a bit and I'm about 50% through the entire project. Uh, now I picked up the majority of my Australian army uh, during a visit to Warlord HQ uh, last year and I hadn't really planned on starting it for a, a, a good while due to other projects and commitments. But after starting the commandos, I really enjoyed painting the models. So now I really want to finish them and get them to the table as soon as possible. In the earlier video, uh, I outlined uh, the simple paint scheme and limited palette that I had used for painting the commandos. And this has continued throughout the project across the majority of the figures I've completed so far. Uh, I've been painting in batches of between four and six uh, and I'm, I'm pretty happy with the progress that I've made so far. Uh, while I have no specific list or build in mind at this stage, I do know that I want to run these as veterans with all sections being comprised of eight men. So this is the HQ section. This was made. This was made uh, using the HQ set from Warlord Games. Uh, it will be a two-man HQ section, um, and I was tempted to model them on one base, as I did with my Stalingrad Germans, but uh, eventually I settled for, for completing them on separate bases. Uh, up next is the section that started all of this. This is the completed um, commando section. Now, I really enjoy painting this section. Uh, Game-wise, they are tough fighters, but will also benefit from being fanatics uh, when defending in an assault due to the, uh, the never give up uh, Australian characteristic rule. Nice. Um, next up is half of the Jungle Division infantry section. This will be expanded to a, a veteran eight-man section and the plan is to add two or three uh, more of these once this current project is completed and they will be, we, they will be the mainstay infantry um, of, of any future um, builds and lists. Uh, alongside the jungle infantry, uh, I've currently completed half of a Papuan infantry battalion section. And again, these will be run as an eight-man veteran section, uh, and these guys come with some really rather nice special rules that allow them not only to fall to deploy, um, but also on hidden and ambush. I'm really looking forward to using these. Uh, I've also completed most of the main support options with a sniper team, a mortar team, and a medium machine gun team. Now I had two spare commandos, um, so I've used one as a spotter for the mortar team. This works quite well, and I've used the figure with the with the um, with the radium. I think that 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 fits quite well into him being um, a, a spotter for the mortar team. Uh, up lastly is my medic. Now, now my on point wargaming buddy uh, kindly gave me his bull Allen figure as he would never be using it as a dedicated and zealous Japanese player. This is clearly very understandable. Uh, I also have the awesome Medic with Stretcher Bearers kit uh, that Warlord did last year, and I'm really looking forward to painting this. It's a, it's a, it's a brilliant set uh, that I plan to turn into some kind of micro diorama. So what's left um, to paint, I hear you ask? Well, I'm currently working on a short 25 pounder to provide some HE support. Uh, I've also used a few spare figures that I had lying around to create a six-man engineer section uh, that includes a flamethrower. Um, my gaming buddy has a pathological hatred of flamethrowers, so I always try and include at least one just to keep him entertained. Um, I'll also be completing the rest of the jungle and the Papuan infantry and starting on a, a, a ten-man uh, militia section. Now, these guys are always inexperienced, so a 10-man section is definitely the way to go uh, with that section. Um, the last infantry support uh, will be a three-man scout platoon. Again, some more forward, forward deployment um, for, for future games of bolt action. 
For armour and transport, I'm currently working on a Matilda kit. Uh, these are Australians. Uh, the Matilda uh, really goes with the Australian list and it gives it got that historical aspect that I'm also also look for in all of my projects. Um, I'm also cannibalizing uh, an LVT Buffalo uh, from an old British project um, that I've been stripping apart for the, the past year or so. Um, the Buffalo has a trans transport capacity of 24, so this may turn out to be super useful. Right, I'm going to crack on uh, with a 25 pounder and the engineer section and I'm hoping to have these completed and based by tomorrow. Uh, if you run an Australian Army too, I'd be very interested to hear your thoughts and opinions on both painting and gaming with them. Well, thanks for watching, and as always, take care, may your dice roll well, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Bye bye for now.